now we reach the base plate parts which we have here in different types here is p1 second type second type a and so on and so forth three four five six and that's it details of it the size and the measurement and other user parameters of uh, made an excel file of it which we will need for our base plates these parameters i mean from b1 to b6 and they can differentiate because of your own choosings the parameters and add the ones you like so p1 is like this and p2 is like this and so on and so forth and it's according to the cat file we have 2a 3 4 and 5 and 6 so we'll build according to this file and we've done the nominalization by now so it will be easier when we are building a family the point is that this file is for the final file but the base plates themselves and uh, here we have anchor belt here which is ha which has its own measurement and sizing like this so firstly we can build the anchor bolt uh, in the first and for making these we have uh, these measurements here here we have a plate for uh, 300 to 300 of 30 millimeters thickness and here are full plates which have been welded together which is our stiffener and this degree is 45 and I scroll up here are these four plates again and the belt here is uh, 45 degrees again and here is obvious and we have a gap down here and up here in this part there is a depth to it and there is a general height and here we have two screws and a washer like this so firstly we will make this one so this goes here now we'll save it up to here and from files new and family and then i will choose metric generic model face base and then i will press open to open the area and the first thing that I will do is that I go to the front face and then I will draw the references we have a height for the upper part and a general uh, height for the bold and uh, from here to here and from here to here these are the main part of our work and I will name this one uh, bottom underlying length and this one will be top, top length like this and OK and after that we have done that I'll go here and I will name it bottom Let's go back to the plan and I will uh, select extrusion and set it on the bottom and using circle I will draw a circle and then I will go to diameter and I will give a parameter of a di diameter here then we'll choose the circle and then we'll enable center mark visible and then align this one should be locked with this one and it lock is defaultly uh, enabled which is only available in the 2020 version choose and this one i'll go to the front face as you can see it's added here finish and i will connect it to our length in here I will go back to the plan in similar 
I will draw another circle here. I will select it and I will enable this one and align this one with this one. This one should be like with this. I will choose the measurement diameter and I will put it here and I will put it on diameter and then I will set it on the referable plate and it goes to top to top length and then finish let's go back to the front face and uh, from here we'll change its diameter to 80 for example 80 yes and top length to 170 and bottom is 1500 It's fine up to here and this one should be 1700 I'm sorry 170 and this one should be um, 300 according to the cat file oh sorry again this should be 1700 I got it wrong again it was right the first time like this as you can see then I will draw a reference here Forward the plates should end up to uh, that is actually here as you can see So I will draw a reference here and I will measure it and its measure could be controlled from down from here We look at the cat file and I will name this BD for example and here I'll type it again, BD for example, or something like this. Now we want to modelize this. And I will save it up to here. And I will go to H here. And inside a seal project. And inside RFA. And I will name it S underline uh, anchor anchor bolt yeah anchor bolt backup should be on one okay yeah. then I will go and uh, open another family area and I will choose metric generic model oh now it's okay this part and I will put it on a structural connection and it's in steel form and I will disable all of this vertical it could be enabled let's go back to plan I will use your reference I will draw four references here and here and here and he uh, here uh, should be equalized from here to here is our width like this equalized and now it's done rest will be explained later now I give some width to this para dimension that we have here width uh, okay and and this one should be a uh, height yeah and okay and we'll give it some default numbers here 300 to 300 uh, okay and I will go to the front I'll draw a reference here and I'll enable its dimension and this should be thickness uh, yeah and okay and, and 30 uh, let's go back to the plan extrusion tool and rectangular from here to here and finish and this should be on thickness we'll go to the front face and here I want to make the part about the stiffeners here and I'll go here and choose a reference uh, like this and this this should be actually 45 degrees uh, 
right click and maximize so we can make them a little little longer than it is so this should be on every plate here so that i make my job easier a little i'll go to the cat photo and look at it as uh, fastly uh, firstly we'll make a void here as a whole and or we'll choose this from here and then i will draw a circle here and I will lock its center mark with this then I will choose dia diameter and here I will type diameter and then OK and we'll give it some diameter from here uh, for example this one should be 8 oh I'm sorry 24 let me look at the file and see how much the diameter is there and here should be 80 okay and then finish uh, what about those stiffeners I can modelize it here or in another model uh, family area and put it here. If I do it in another family area, managing it here is it will be easier. So I will save this up up to now, and we'll name this s underline. Um, let me look at the file and name it from there. It's four play stiffener. Like this. Uh, save. And let's go back here. I will open another family area and I will choose metric generic model face base. And I will save it as uh, S underline stiffener. Back up on one and OK. Saved. And uh, I'll go to the front face again. And I will draw a line here and uh, here. From here to here and here to here. And I will name these to A and B. Uh, this one should be B. And this one should be A. Uh, and then I will put this on 15. And this one as well, 15. I'm sorry, 150 and okay then i will choose extrusion and i will draw it like this and here it should be 15 and minus 15. Uh, let me look at this uh, at this thickness uh, from the cat file Okay, this one is correct. Then I will choose this and I will give it some material and its name will be stiffener and we have saved it so it's okay. Now I want to go to the to this area. We'll go here. I will load it in the four plate area. Uh, and here select place on face face and then we'll click on this and then I will close this uh, area uh, yes we look at it in the 3d form and check it so that the, its direction is correct and 
and from here measurement from here to here and we'll give it a distance and we'll name it R let's hope it works and here we'll divide diameter by 2 and this should be uh, named radius it's fine up to here and now I will choose this and I will go to edit type and from this word which is stiffener we'll give it a, its material let me copy that word from the CAD file okay and okay and this one should be A and this one should be B and then I will select mirror here and I will mirror both of these copy should be enabled I will align this this should be locked with the middle, this with the middle, and this with the middle, and uh, this one here with the middle. Then I will select measurement, and I'll press tab, and from this point to this one, from this point to this one, and from here to here then i will select all of these and i will put it on radius and we'll minimize the scale a little so it'll be like this and then i will select this one and from here i will name it plate then it will build the material of it and this one doesn't exist in every file if you look at the cat file uh, here we have it but not here so I will select these and from visibility here uh, we'll add a stiffener width for visibility and put it on instance okay and okay and now we'll make different types uh, according to the file that we have here we'll go here and from the cat file that we have I'll name it this a b1 type and the measurements and numbers of it are correct AT is right and 300 is correct as well this one should be 40 and this one is correct as well this one is correct and this one the last one is correct as well and uh, then I will select a uh, dimension yeah it's right and uh, this is done and if you're doing it more proficiently um, you can add a gable here to the weld of it in the front face uh, I can put a dimension here and here from this board and this board and their numbers should be uh, stable this one 30 and this one 20 and this one 20 as well now we'll edit this uh, from here to here mm, and then finish yeah this is according to our weld control s and yes and then I will load it in the four plate uh, area this is more accurate and beautiful uh, than what we done now we'll go to the next part here and this is the second type and from new I will copy the name from the file to here 
and this one should be invisible and so I'll disable it and for its numbers here should be 200 and this one 200 as well then apply and the thickness of this part should be 40 apply and this one will be turned off so I will uh, t not spend time on this so uh, but you can do something here and from this part the A and B part which is a 200 here and let me change this one as well to 200 uh, this is the height of it let me add the height here minus 30 and the uh, width in B would be minus 30 here you can do this so you can uh, have a decreased level of that from this one uh, okay this should be 100 like this 100 and this should be 50 and 50 here you should make your own number like this now I'll put it on this uh, this one uh, 150 and this is not necessary but you can do it if you want to this one is okay as well like this this is starts from 40 and this are uh, here as we have gave the numbers to it the next one is type 3 I will duplicate it third type disabled it's 150 to 150 150 with 150 we have to erase this formula here because it gets zero Uh, okay, uh, its thickness is uh, 20, apply, and its diameter is um, 30, yes, I will put it on second type for once, here the thickness is 25, let's check it, I will uh, on uh, turn this on, uh, here is A and here is B and uh, here is C and it's like this so we have created up to here and we'll explain it later now we have uh, done this and it's completed and when we've done this we have to uh, get it to the anchor bolt uh, area so I will save this again just to be sure and uh, we have to be on this area now I will load this and I will get it to the plan and uh, we'll put it here for now and I will select it and I will go to the front face and then I'll align it middle of this with this and here with this part here we'll go to the face of uh, east or west either and here I will put it in the middle as well on 3d form we'll make it shaded now I'll select this and with H I'll hide it temporarily this is, is up and down and this is here now I'll select it and from edit type we'll build some parameters from here here would be plate and um, this one should be stiffener and 
then OK. This should be diameter. We have the diameter here. And this height, we'll name it height here. Plate. OK and OK. And then the next one. And this is a radius. And here is thickness is the next one. Next one is width. And this one is A. And this one is B. I think it's obvious. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to here. Now we'll put this visibility on type and I will copy it. Uh, here I'll press Ctrl S. It's load and closed here. And then I will select it and I will go here. We can make invisibility here from this because it can't happen in instance. But here should be an instance. And let's go back to edit. And I will copy this here and I will divide it by two from here. And we'll do the setting from here, uh, from 8BC to the end. For example, I will choose the type A anchor bolt from here. And I will go here and make one. But it should be changed on base plate area, not here. So we'll let it be as it were before because it should be changed there. We'll make a type here, but this high point of this, we have to make two screws for it and make them visible here, uh, which is above this one. We have two screws of M20 here and a washer. And for that screw, we can uh, use the help of another family area. Make this screw and then we'll put it here. We'll open a generic area. And from this part, uh, connections. And I will put this one on still and uh, extrusion and a hexagon uh, its M is 80 actually its radius should be 80 so I will draw a circle here 40 then I will make a polygonal and I will put it on 92, for example. You should look at the standards from there for the screws. So we can do this. Here I'll give it a diameter parameter. And obviously I will name it diameter. This is the maximum size that we can make. Finish and I will go to the front face here and I will give 60 as a um, fixed size for height like this. Let's go back to the front again. I'll go here and I will uh, from void I will choose revolve and the axis should be here and boundary line here and we are checking if it's working or uh, not. Uh, will be something like this.
and this should be here M it should be here and mirror you should find the middle of this line and M from here it should be here here's the little clash so, so I will delete this and this one as well I will cut this from here here it should be 25 and here should be 25 as well this one 25 and here should be 25 as well then I will draw the arc and void so it will be like this this one R is too much let's go back here in this face and I will select this and edit uh, I'm sorry not this one cancelled and here I will press on edit on the front face I'll select this and with scale I'll make it half here I'll press enter and this one should be halved um, as well and enter finish let's go to the 3d form now it's a little better it's like this then I will load this let me save it first uh, to here with the name of not and we'll name it s underline not it's a not yeah then I will load it on this area on top face and I will select component I will put it here align this one with this one and this one with this one should be locked let's go to the face and this one here should be copied up here again this one should be locked with this and it's middle as well and on the left this one with this one and this one with this one so it's locked into every angle now we'll press space so it's screwed a little like this here and that is the correct form and this is up to here from our project now we've made one of these anchors uh, and I will save this first then I will go to the next area which is for the base plates there let's close this temporarily and let's make the base plate but let me open it first and from generic model should be turned to a connection or let me say if it have con anchor but we don't as uh, let's go to connection yes yeah, structural connection here and steel and okay you have to make the parameters here you can even make parameters for this but i will make it stable Control s and i will close this now we're going to build a base plate and base plates are in three types here for example is type 2 here and others are the same and here as you can see there is a groot here a plate we can add them in the project area so we have four bolts one groot and one plate here for groot here and their thickness are uh, determined and we have excel tabulate according to this and needed parameters here and these are the names and i can remember you they can be differ but these are according to the cat file for example here in the second plate d1 is the diameter here and the measurement here we have the groot here and every other measurement here so we are going to make it according to this so I will open a family area new family and it's again face based because it's uh, on a foundation and I will f find the face based one and open from the family category and parameter I will search for the connections 
and structural connection and it should be in steel form after that uh, I have some measurements here for sure so I will draw some lines here like this I will choose measurement from here to here and here equalized and this is my measurement here and here and here and here equalized and now this is my measurement we'll go to the excel file to find the name uh, so I will open the excel file here here I named it plate width copy for example for this part here and the other one is plate height and it's for this part and that's the good thing about excel files that you never forget the uh, parameters here for example now for this column here on the second plate its height and width are at 1200 let's look it up for here the second plate here is 1200 and 1200 here so we have this part in the cat file here and it's completely correct let me put this aside and from this part 1200 to 1200 millimeters and this is our base point now we'll go to the front again and for the groot and thickness uh, I will draw two lines here I will choose measurement and this part is groot thickness and this part is plate thickness so I'll open the excel file again and and I will add the groot thickness which is here and uh, from the excel file to here and the plate thickness is here as you can see this part and OK and I will look the numbers from the Excel file and add it here and I'm looking up for the second plate here in the Excel file our plate, thick, plate thickness is a 60 and our groot thickness is uh, 50 here yeah it's in millimeters so it will be like this I will name this plate and I will go back to the plan let me firstly go here I'm firstly making the groot so I will choose blend and I will draw a rectangular here but I should have made a reference before but it's not that important like this I'll choose measurement from here to here to here equalized from here to here we measure it again again this part with this part and here and here and here equalized and I will measure this as well okay and from the excel file group bottom width and height should be here and copy here I'll go here paste and OK and and also here should be uh, pasted here yeah right okay we'll choose edit top I'll go to the next part and draw a rectangular above this one like this and you can also lock this to here I mean where we have drawn it this should be locked with this and there is no need for you to give it parameters let me show you the CAD file here again uh, it's here you're at now this is absolutely underneath this, this one so we can lock it with this one and there is no need for other parameters this with this and this one with this one and this with this and after that finish and this should be on zero cancelled uh, we'll go here 
and I can put this on growth thickness at the second end I mean should be on growth thickness yeah that's it now it's measurements and numbers and uh, in this part growth and height 1300 and 1300 like this as you can see and this is our Groot we'll put it on concrete parameter or we'll name it Groot and it's like this and above this there is the plate which will be explained in the next clip so using the extrusion tool I will set it on the plate that we've just made I mean above the Groot and draw the rectangular here and I will link it to the plate thickness finish like this and I will select this up to this part and I will put it on the plate for its material OK and OK then I will press Ctrl S and we'll save this with the name of S underline connection uh, underline uh, base point yeah base point backup should be on one as always OK and save let's go back to the plan and from the plan let me check the Excel file again uh, From here, I will open Anchor Bolt again, and from here, I'll load it to S Connection Base Plate. Choose Place and Face. See, it's that easy. It will it will be like this, and it will be put it here. And there is a distance between them, so we'll go to the plan. And from the reference part, uh, I will uh, create a new subcategory and name it. For example, I can name it Anchor. Uh, anchor Reference, for example, would be a little better. And I will copy this and paste it here and put its color to red I will draw a line here 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 and another one here like this aligned this one with this one this one with this one this with this and this one with this one again here I'll choose the measurement tool and from here to here and from here to here this part couldn't be because we have a reference for this part here I'll copy this and this one as well this one with this one and also this one with this one these are the distances that are useful furthermore this with this and this with this uh, okay these two according to the excel file uh, we named it d3 here and this one up to here and also these two we've named d1 and these two are d2 it's not that useful but having it is better than not having it and I also uh, forgot to tell you this you can add a, a parameter here and uh, tell the description of each parameter in this chart and having these file when you're doing the project you can uh, read the description of it and understand where the um, number came from exactly so having more information is more uh, is very useful 
So let's me, uh, let me add the numbers of a uh, uh, base plate in here and uh, numbers and measurements here. Uh, in the second type, uh, D1 is 125, D2 is 350, this one 125 again, and the next one is 1300 and 1300, grid thickness is 50, plate height is 1200, plate thickness 60, and 1200. And I will apply this and OK. I will go to 3D form as you can see. Now I've made this. And add the parameters with uh, these parameters here. And you can do that by yourself now. And I will explain the next things.